Hi guys, David Jennings here from Melbourne SEO Services. Wanted to make a video for you because I've just hopped into my Google Free Keyword Tool, or you know, you can head over to Google and search Google Free Keyword Tool, and it'll bring you to this page here. And I noticed up the top, it's just said check out the new to a keyword tool which is in beta so I thought why not make a video for you about it I've had just a few minutes to dig around and by the looks of things I think it is going to be an improvement now for me personally I'm one of those guys who prefers that uh, change didn't happen but you need to embrace it when it does happen that's how you stay on the cutting edge so I thought I'd take you through the two th areas I want to draw your attention to is firstly we've got the word or the phrase and over here we've got the website. That's very similar to the way that the uh, free keyword tool used to work but I've actually seen a lot of people don't use the website option which it's a fantastic way for competitive research. You copy in your competitors domain name into here and Google will return what keywords they are ranking for and what keywords they think are relevant to that site and you can then take those keywords and then go and target them on your own site. Uh, and I think the way they've set this new option up, it's probably going to be something that people start to use a lot more because it's not so hidden now, it's quite in your face. But let's have a look, um, let's type in punk rock clothing and we'll just do search. And having a look here, return some data. And you can see it is already looking a little bit different to the way that it did previously and there's a whole lot of data here quite a lot of keywords and one thing you'll notice with all of the different keywords is they don't necessarily contain my initial search phrase or the string whereas previously uh, at the top of the free keyword tool when you made a search it would only display all of the keywords related or that had your specified keyword in the keyword uh, listed and then it would push the alternatives the lateral searches further down the page but it looks like it's now changed that and it's lumped them all together but there are some cool options over the side here which I'll show you so it's basically showing us all of the different uh, categories or all of the other keywords these lateral keywords that are related to my initial seed keyword and we've got the option to check and uncheck them and they'll also tell you the number next to it obviously represents how many keywords underneath that particular phrase there is so let's say if I untick all you'll see it loads quite quickly and it's uh, now unchecked everything and now I'll tick back punk clothing punk rock clothing gothic clothing and goth clothes so a few of these uh, keywords here which I think are more related to the types of keywords that I'd want to be returning and I've obviously unchecked things like clothing and clothes because they're quite generic terms and things like gothic I'm not worrying about checking or punk because that could be a whole variety of things whereas I'm really looking for the clothing so I think this here is a great addition to this tool and is going to add to its effectiveness so if I move my window up here you can see we've got the competition global searches local searches and also uh, the local search trends just there so nothing terribly new with those columns uh, we've got some advanced options which I'll pop down here you can obviously target where it is that you want to get your data from and me being in Australia I've got it targeted to Australia but uh, if you wanted to flick it back to the way that it was uh, originally you could kind of click this button here that says ideas containing my search terms so that's only going to return the keywords that contain the search term that I enter and that's going to give you similar results to what we had but I also think it's quite interesting here that it's got mobile search now let's say I search for mobile search and I'll move this into the window so you can see these are mobile searches now that it's returning the data and obviously they're a lot different uh, volume wise to uh, the previous search that I did but I think this is Google sending a very loud and clear message that it considers uh, mobile searches something of importance and for them to, to include that I think you, if you're not already you need to start to think about including some mobile marketing tactics into your online campaigns and we'll just move over here and just finish up with the final thing that I was quite 
uh, interested to see is uh, the way that Google's now listed all of these different categories. Now you'll notice some keywords are highlighted blue and those uh, categories that are highlighted blue are the ones where these keywords end up falling under those categories. So obviously apparel's highlighted and there's some clothing and baby clothing and dresses. Now where this information could become quite useful is let's say that you were building a blog and you had decided the niche that you were going after. You could pop in your keyword into this tool and then have Google return what it considers to be the most important categories or associated categories to that keyword. Then when you set up your categories on the blog you could do the same thing. Thereby you're feeding the information Google is giving you back to itself which obviously you're going to be giving it what it wants because this is the same way that it's in analyzing things so I think this uh, potentially has some very cool applications I'm only just digging into it now but obviously as I, I get some more insight into it I'll post something for you guys I'd love to hear it if you guys just want to head over check out the new tool and make some comments to this video let me know if there's anything that I missed or anything that you can see would be a fantastic application of this but that's it for now if you want to see more videos like this just head over to melbourneseoservices.com